once you have loaded Premiere Pro and passed the splash screen, you will be displayed with a welcome page. This page is quite helpful for new beginners as there is a quick create new project icon displayed. But after you have had a quick wee look around, you can use your mouse or trackpad to move over and unclick this box. By unclicking this box, you will no longer see the startup screen once you load this program again. So let's move over here and start a new project. Now, just for this very quick thing to show you, because this is the interface video, I'm just going to leave this at the top untitled and click OK. And now that we've finally opened Premiere Pro, you can have your first glance at the interface. Please do not be alarmed by this interface. It is a lot more easier than it first looks. I'm going to mention briefly what the main key sections are in this interface. Now, I'm going to use my mouse and, of course, the traditional file edit click sequence in the top Windows menu of any program on Windows and the same on Mac. One thing, as you click in the window menu, you see many of the options are not displayed here. You can muck about that if you want to add more, but that's more to do in an advanced feature. And it's just, it's not really for this course, but it's worth to point out to you that you can have a quick wee go through of any of these key things and if you want to include like a big section on say effects or you can add that and it will be added to the window you can also move stuff around but i do not recommend this and then well especially not for this tutorial because this is a basic tutorial this is for beginners the interface by the way is quite fine and many people just leave it as it is because it's reasonable right okay sorry about that that's a little delay this i'm going to click on this as you can see the sort of lightish blue um, would you would you free, um, call that lightish blue? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. This is where you can see your finished edited video or your current state of the video. And underneath this is, I think many people will probably are familiar with video editing and in some way will recognize this section as the timeline. Now, this is the clip I'm using. And if I move my cursor over the part of the playhead, and I scrub through it, you can see the video is playing it above. This has direct correlation with this. Now, this window here is the raw video. This has it all. This has it unedited, un untrimmed, you name it. This is the original footage. And finally, down here, the fourth main panel is where you import your media, which includes music and sound effects, of course the video, any sort of things you've imported from say Photoshop or anywhere else, but it doesn't need to be all from Adobe packages, all your files will be stored in there. And if you manage the file system better than, well I do, you can maybe put them in folders and once you're looking at this section, it's got, an, I think, an inappropriate name, bin. With a better organization, you should be able to find your footage much faster, and you should hopefully be a little less stressed. Now, oh, before we end this tutorial, it's also worth to mention over here is the audio meter. This will, if I scroll through the head, you can quickly see it going up. That's the sound. Now, I think that's rough, oh, roughly about the interface. There is these key buttons, which I'll go into a little bit more in the next tutorial. But as you can see, these are play, step forward, which is one frame. So you can do it frame by frame and go reverse. 
And I know I'm going to mention these things actually a bit in the other tutorial. There's the time code on both videos and at the end. I will quickly show you these tabs at the top because this is the one with the most tabs. As you quickly go to these tabs and you've got more options, the metadata at the end. Uh, media browser, if we scroll down here to the other tabs, I apologize for not showing you this first. This is the information of the video. This is the, what you'll get if you click on it on properties on the PC. And I'm not quite familiar with what you would do if it's on a Mac. Somebody hopefully can help me out there. You click, you'll go to effects, these effects menu and markers. Now that is it for this visual display of its interface. And the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to import your video.